What's up peoples? Okay, today I'm gonna to show you how to mix like a very basic um, bass line. So um, I'm gonna show you that the process sort of from start to finish, I've got my basic idea. This is what it sounds like at the moment. Okay, so pretty simple, pretty catchy like hook. Let's um, let's start filling out this bass line. So you can see already, I have no no EQ, nothing down here, just just my serum um, instrumentation. Same with the kick, no mixing yet. What I'm going to do is I'm basically going to duplicate this um, down, and I'm going to create a sub bass. So this is what a lot of you guys, um, when you're sending in your demos, you you sort of don't have a sub bass in there sometimes, um, and you'll see. What I do here, it really sort of thickens out the sound. So I'm just going to use Nexus for this. You can use whatever sub bass you like. I'm just going to go um, basic sine. Sine wave is good for a bass line. Let's have a listen to it soloed. Okay, so it's in the right octave. That's probably too low, so let's keep it here. So for this specific track, um, I'm gonna have my sub bass a bit longer. I want my sub bass to be driving the track. So what you can do is select all the notes in each clip, and then you just hit legato. And what that does is that elongates all the notes up to the next one. So you can hear that that bass is, is starting to drive compared to this, which is a bit more plucky. So maybe what you could have in the, in the introduction and build up is this sort of short plucky bass, and then you can legato out all the notes to give it um, a bit more drive, so. Cool, all legatoed out, so we uh, now have it sounding like this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start EQing some things. So um, every single track you produce is going to be EQed differently. Um, so just keep that in mind when you are EQing things like that down here. So we're going to look at the kick first. So you can see most of the kick sound is, is centering around here. So all I'm going to do is um, cut off the kick where doesn't need to be. So all this down here is the sub frequencies. This is where our sub bass is gonna be sort of boosted. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the kick off a little. I'm also gonna give it a little boost there. Um, and I'm also gonna cut out some of the, the junk up here, which we don't really need. Keep a bit of that click. So this is it without EQ, with. You can feel a bit more punch there. So now we are going to move on to our, our sort of bass line. It's like an aggressive bass. Let's drag an EQ on this. <clears throat> now I want this bass line to be my mid bass. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out all of my low frequencies down here. And I'm going to boost some of the mids here. So with the EQ off, you can hear a lot more, more like deeper frequencies, but don't stress about that. That's gonna be filled up by the sub bass, which I'm gonna EQ next. So it sounds a bit thinner, the bass line sounds a bit thin, but don't stress about that just yet. So um, I've cut out all the, the sub frequencies, given a boost here in the sort of mid highs. And now let's move on to our sub bass here drag an EQ on that. And you'll, you'll notice with the sub bass, there'll be a pretty sharp point here. So what you need to do is you need to sort of emphasize that. So I'm gonna cut off all the junk here and I'm gonna give it a small spike. And I'm gonna also cut it off here. because you don't need any of the high frequencies of your sub bass pushing through. So that's pretty subby. Let's now listen to this as, as a mix down. So you can see that we're clipping here as well because I haven't done much um, 
sort of volume mixing yet. So what I will do, the sub bass sounds quite loud, so I'll just bring that down a bit. Maybe a bit more. And just to give a bit more headroom, let's just let's just mix the kick at minus 10, everything down a little bit. That's what we have at the moment. Now we need to add some effects. So um, when your kick is happening, it's it, because there's other sounds playing over the top of the kick, the kick is struggling to be heard. So we need to do um, some compression. So the, the quickest and easiest way to do that is with a, um, a side chain. So um, the best plugin to buy, it's only 10 euros, Nicky Romero Kickstart, um, super, super easy to use. Um, and it's a it's a side chain compression. So I add that to my bass line. So this is without the bass, uh, without the side chain, and then slowly bringing it in. You hear that it's kind of getting chopped up and, and cut out in parts, but that's because when you have it simultaneous with the kick, every time the kick start um, side chain is being compressed that's when the kick is trying to push through so what you hear now is the kick will sound a lot clearer because there's nothing else in its way okay so that was with our, our mid bass and our kick soloed now we need to add as well some compression to the sub bass so um, you can click around all these different presets um, in Kickstart to get what you want. Um, if you don't uh, have the money to buy this plugin, just do some um, YouTube research on how to create a sidechain in your specific um, music production software and you can achieve the same effect um, for free. So let's listen to the sub bass without any compression. And now let's slowly integrate it. going to start with a very harsh um, compression let's hear 100% in the full mix I might even go a little bit wider okay I'm happy with that for a basic bass mix down what I might do now is just add some sort of lead. So let me just play around with some stuff. Um, let's go serum. So I've just picked a random serum lead. And maybe let's replicate that throughout. And let's just put that down. So maybe instead on this final final few notes, let's go up an octave so it sounds like this. And there is a bit of cutoff on the preset, so I'm just gonna bring the attack right sharp. So now we sound like this. So I'm gonna add a few more effects onto the lead. I'm first gonna drag on um, some EQ. Uh, there was already EQ on there, that's why it was sounding funny. So. There we go. So new EQ, and we're gonna we, we want to boost these sort of mid to high frequencies here to make the lead cut through the mix. So I'm going to cut out all of our sub frequencies here. We don't need those for a lead. I'm gonna boost the highs here a touch and see what we get. So it sounds like nice and thin for a lead which is okay to start because instead of um, dragging those bass frequencies back in, that will create a muddy mix. We're gonna leave them out and we're gonna make some width um, with some other sort of audio effects. So good way to make uh, width is reverb. So I don't know why I always have my reverb sitting around two seconds. Um, high quality. So that gives it a bit of tail instead of being really short and sharp. Gives it a bit of um, bit of sort of tail, I like to call it. We're also going to throw a utility on this um, before the EQ, and we're going to give it some width. So 
can hear how narrow it is now giving it some width it'll now sit um, on the outside of the mix so listening to the whole uh, mix down again now I'm gonna add a delay just to give it a bit more um, variation Let's play around with it get it sounding good it's a bit too busy Yeah, so I mean, we can add a few more things to um, just create this sort of free drop. Um, super simple effects to add. So just I'll just add like a reverb. Uh, uh, sorry, I'll just add a, a reverse symbol um, and a, a bit of a snare build up, and then that's our sort of um, lead into the drop. So.